Flu shot season is here. Here's a quick look at the schedule taking place at the McGill Training Center over the next few weeks. Hello and welcome to Meet Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, a review of installation Halloween activities. Youth Winter Sports is offering something new. And finally, what to do with your unwanted electronics. These stories and more, but first, October is National Cybersecurity Awareness Month, a month that encourages constant vigilance and protection by all computer users. What if your system is attacked? Here are some tips for the national campaign, Stop, Think, Connect. The Stop, Think, Connect campaign recommends the following tips to avoid falling for an email phishing scam. Be on your toes. Only open emails, attachments, and links from people you know. Be sure to use antivirus software regularly and enhance email filters to block threats. Don't believe what you see. It's easy to steal the colors, logos, and header of an established organization. Avoid sharing. Don't reveal personal or financial information in an email and do not respond to email solicitations for this information. Pay attention to a website's URL and hover over any links to see where they lead. Keep a clean machine. Having the latest operating system, software, web browsers, antivirus protection, and apps are the best defenses against viruses, malware, and other online threats. For more information you can trust, visit BBB.org. For more tips from the Stop, Think, Connect campaign, visit www.stopthinkconnect.org. In a related story, protecting your information is vitally important not only when using your electronics, but when you're disposing of them as well. The Fort Meade Environmental Directorate can help. They're hosting an electronic recycling and data destruction event at the Commissary parking lot on Friday, November 13th from 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Securus, an IT recycling and destruction company, will be bringing a truck to haul away your unwanted electronics. So what can you bring? We say anything with a plug, but we don't accept refrigerators or, or appliances, stuff like that. Printers, copiers, networking adapters, uh, laptops, computers, games, video games, uh, those types of, of items we accept. There are some specific items you can bring, like alkaline batteries, appliances with Freon, and fire detectors. Additionally, some electronics will be accepted, but there may be a disposal charge. These items include TVs, hard drives, and backup batteries. For a complete list of what's acceptable and not acceptable, or if a disposal charge is involved, go to our Facebook page, and in the Pictures section, you'll find the Securus Flyer. Once again, the Electronics Recycling Event is coming up November 13th. If you have any questions, contact Fort Meade's Environmental Division at 301-677-9170. In other news, Child Youth and School Services wants everyone interested in winter youth sports to get registered as soon as possible. To encourage you to register, CYSS is offering a free Under Armour basketball jersey to the first 60, 6 to 9 year olds that sign up for basketball. Other winter sports include indoor soccer, wrestling, and a newly organized sport, dodgeball. CYSS encourages anyone interested in youth sports to register as soon as possible. Registration numbers determine the level of participation or number of teams in local and county leagues. And finally on this edition, here's a quick look at Fort Meade's Halloween activities. We'll start off with trick-or-treating hours on the 31st. They are from 6 to 8 p.m. in post housing. The Officer Spouses Club is hosting a Halloween bingo night on October 23rd. Dinner is at 6 with bingo starting at 7. The Fort Meade Run series continues on October 24th with the Ghosts, Goblins, and Ghouls 5K. It starts at 8 a.m. at the Fort Meade Pavilion. If you're entering the Pet Costume Contest on the 24th, you can participate in the 5K run or one-mile walk for free. Corvius Military Housing is hosting their annual Fallapalooza on October 29th from 2 to 5 p.m. at each of the housing community centers. The library is offering a Halloween story time October 29th at 9.30 and 10.30 a.m. On October 31st, the Religious Services Office is hosting the annual Hallelujah Fest. No scary costumes, please. And finally on Halloween, Murphy Fieldhouse is holding an aerobathon from 11 to 1. Working out in your costume is encouraged. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. We close this edition with some scenes from Saturday night's Father Daughter Ball. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great Mead Week. <laughs>